Hello friends, this is John. It is Monday, March 30th, uh, about 11.30 at night. Um, if you're seeing this video, then by now you've probably heard the great news. Um, if you haven't heard the news, let me be the first to tell you. I was offered the job of head of school at a small Quaker boarding high school in Iowa called Scattergood Friends School and I am humbled and honored to accept. I will begin as head of school there um, on or around July 1st this summer, which is sudden and big and um, you may be wondering, why Scattergood? It's a question I asked myself a number of times in the past couple of weeks and months. Um, and if you have a few moments, um, I'll tell you why Scattergood. Uh, let me begin by saying um, I was not looking for a new job. I was very excited about the prospect of working with Melissa Carroll. Um, I thought she was an excellent candidate. There were things I saw in her visit that really impressed me. The few meetings she and I have had, I've really appreciated her style and her knowledge, her approach, and I'm, I'm confident in her as the, the new head of school at PFS. But life does sometimes have a way of nudging you in a different direction than you may have planned. And for us, there were some conversations and some events that happened in February that were certainly nudging us to be open to different possibilities. And it was on one day when we had a pretty strong nudge that I received an, an email um, from the head of the Scattergood Friends Head of School Search Committee, uh, a lovely gentleman named George, who uh, had received my name from somebody I had worked with through the Friends Council and um, wanted me to apply for head of school, which was crazy to me. I had no desire to leave PFS, but in that moment, I paused. I asked Stephanie if this was worth exploring. We thought about it, and I thought if nothing else, it would be an interesting story and a good professional development opportunity. So I put my resume together, I put a cover letter together, I put together a theory on approach to education, sent it over. I had what was supposed to be a five minute conversation with George that turned into an hour and 15 minute conversation with George. I had a wonderful Zoom interview back before Zoom was a trendy thing to do uh, with Sonia and Debbie who were also on the search committee. And before I knew it, I was asked if I could fly out to Iowa little town just outside of Iowa City to interview for the head of school at Scattergood Friends School. And I thought, why not? It's once in a lifetime. What I had seen on the website of the school intrigued me. They had some some thoughtful people working there. I could tell that just from the website. I could tell that there was something very cool about the school and I couldn't yet figure out what it was. And so I thought the only way I'm going to find out if Scattergood Friends School is the kind of community and the kind of school for a guy like John Zimmerman is for me to go there, for them to see me and for me to see them and for us to figure it out. So without further ado, let me tell you why Scattergood. One, the farm. Scattergood Friends School is located on a fairly large farm, large by my standards of being from Mercer County, New Jersey. Um, but it's, it's beautiful. It's just gorgeous space. There are animals, cows, pigs, sheep. There are, there are fruit trees, there are plants, there are greenhouses. It is a, a real working farm. And these students begin their school year by working that farm. 
because all of the food that's produced at that farm goes directly to the students through the kitchen at the school. And so they work firsthand with the very food they will eat. Talk about understanding food choices and sustainability. Wow! This blows my mind. It gives students very practical experience and skills in, in working with food that, that can, at the very least, help them make better informed decisions about how they inhabit this planet. But, but even further, should they choose to lead sustainable lives where they do raise their own food, this gives them a base from which to build off of. I was... I was blown away and frankly a bit intimidated by this operation and intrigued to learn so much more because there's something very powerful about connecting these students with the land that they're living on um, in this way. And, and that leads me to number two. So, a small Quaker boarding school in the middle of Iowa working on the farm. This does not work well without a strong community. And boy, boy, did I feel a strong community when I arrived at Scattered Good Friends. I went out to dinner the first night with Stephanie, and when I came back, I saw a group of, of kids playing cards in the basement, and I went down and they were having fun, hanging out, and just being together. And I thought, wow, that's really cool. I, I could dig working and living at a place where there is this kind of community. So how do they achieve this community? Well, I was only there for two days, but in my estimation, they achieve it through stewardship. At Scattergood, everyone from, from students to, to staff members, to the head of school, to everybody, is a member of crews. And these crews do things like prepare meals, clean up from meals, uh, do custodial work in the restrooms, go into the lobbies and the hallway. They, they maintain the school um, as a community. And in doing so, they develop a real sense of appreciation and ownership for not just the physical spaces that they're maintaining and inhabiting, but also each other and the effort and the work that each other puts in to helping sustain the community. It's breathtaking and it's a heck of a lot of fun. When, when mealtime is over and the music starts in the kitchen and kids are having fun doing dishes, you can feel a warmth that is, that is just intoxicating and, and really makes one feel at home. And, and then finally, three, a really strong, progressive, and thorough academic program that prepare students for college or whatever they, they choose to pursue. The fact that parents can know that, that all of these amazing community and experiential learning opportunities are not in, instead of or at the cost of rigorous academics, but instead are a part of them in a very deep and profound way. Every student at Scattergood needs to be accepted to a college as part of their graduation. And that sets an expectation that, that the students are going to not only receive all of these other benefits, but, but be prepared academically for their college careers. That makes it the whole package. Who wouldn't want to go to Scatter Good Friends, right? There's probably a couple of you watching this video right now who would like to be put in touch with the admissions director. I can make that happen. I'm gonna wait though until it's a little more appropriate. Talk to me in July. 
when I left Scatter Good Friends, I felt within me a surge of energy and ideas started flowing. Questions more than anything else. Questions I wanted to know about Scattergood, about its programming, about its history, about its community, about the alums, about the current students, about their families, about the faculty, about those who have been there for 20 years, about those who have been there for two years. I, I want to dive deep in a way I haven't felt since I became camp director at Princeton Friends Summer Camp was it 12 or 13 years ago I am not walking away from Princeton friends I am being called to scatter good and in life I believe that when one receives a calling one has a choice to make You can either ignore the calling and excuse it away and make, make up a list of reasons why it's not worth pursuing, or one can accept the challenge, have faith in the universe, and, and rise to the occasion. And for that, I feel it is, it is, it is my, um, my calling to choose Scattergood. And it makes me very sad. It makes me very sad indeed to walk away from the Princeton Friends School community where I feel like I was finally starting to find a real sense of my identity and my role in the community. It will be very hard for me to step away from Forte and the wonderful things we've created together artistically there, especially at such a point in our history when we're, we're finally ready to start producing musicals thanks to such generous support on stage and financially from so many of you. It is painful to walk away from the summer camp community. There are, there are those of you watching this video who won't fully get why leaving a summer camp would be so difficult. But that's just because you never went to Princeton Friends Summer Camp. It is a magical place, and it will continue to be, and I'm going to make sure of that. Don't you worry. Who I am as a leader, as a follower, as a father, as a brother, as a son, as a teacher, as a student. Who I am in those roles today has been shaped by my time in, in these communities that I love so dearly. I sincerely hope that as I move on to Scatter Good, that I am able to stay connected to as many of you as possible through social media, through correspondence. If you're driving through the middle of Iowa and you'd love to learn about a fantastic Quaker high school, boy, do I have a place for you. Um, look me up. I, 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 I wish that we had an opportunity to have a great big picnic 
and I can sing some songs with you and we can tell some jokes and reminisce and hopefully that'll be in our future but it it might not be at least not this summer but we're gonna find that time and uh, we're gonna have a good we're gonna have a good time saying goodbye and to those of you who are from Scattergood um, I want you to know that I am excited. I am so excited. I'm nervous. Um, is that okay for me to say to you all that I'm nervous? I hope it's okay. I'm kind of a straightforward sort of guy, so you're going to know if I'm nervous. But I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I, I see so many great things in our future, and I'm really excited to be on this journey with you. So... I'm going to make some more of these videos in the coming weeks and months to let you know how things are going. And um, now's the time at Princeton Friends Camp when we say goodbye, though we go our separate ways. We promise not to cry. And even though there's parents waiting, we'll ignore the clock and sing a song or do our cheers or touch the worry rock. Kungaloosh to all the counselors, Kungaloosh, my friends. As long as we keep spices with us, Friends camp never ends. Until next time, my friends. Gungaloosh! Bye for now.